Hi, I'm Ralph Bacchiano for the New York Daily News outside the Giants practice facility. We're inside. They're getting ready for Manning Bowl 2 this Sunday in Indianapolis. You know, we have uh, uh, hopefully a good plan. And, uh, you know, we haven't played the Colts recently, but we did play them a few years ago. And uh, so we, we, I think we have a, you know, a solid plan. We did study in the off season, so you'll have to wait and see on that one. You know, I, I'm excited about it. Also, you know, I, I, I look forward, and, and uh, I know these opportunities. Uh, you know, we don't know how many more times you, you do get to, uh, you know, see your brother and, and play a game where he's he's the opposing quarterback. That's uh, you know, that's that's special for me. I think a lot of people are buying into the the Manning versus Manning type thing. So. Um, it's going to be an exciting game. You know, they they're going to be coming back with uh, you know a little. You know, they're they're upset that they, they uh, kind of didn't start the season like they wanted to. So we're uh, we're excited the way we started, and it's going to be a good game. I'd like to tell you a lot more about Peyton and Eli, but quite frankly, I'm sick of the subject. So we're going to move on to other things you should be watching as the Giants go for two and zero, and the Colts try to avoid their first zero and two start since Peyton Manning was a rookie in 1998. The first thing you should watch, the Giants running game, which has been abysmal for most of the last year. They haven't had a 100-yard rusher since October 11th of last year. Now, they're playing an Indianapolis Colts defense that's terrible. It was the worst rushing defense in the NFL last season. They gave up over 250 yards to the Houston Texans, who had one of the worst rushing offenses in the NFL last year. This is the perfect time for Ahmad Bradshaw and Brandon Jacobs to finally get this rushing game going. It did not look good against the Carolina Panthers. Take away one 39-yard run by Ahmad Bradshaw, and they really got nothing done on the ground at all. They're going to need to do that this Sunday. That'll control the clock, and it will take Peyton Manning off the field, which is a big, big deal in this game. The second thing you have to watch, the Giants' secondary. They got away with their coverage against the Carolina Panthers because they were facing Matt Moore. Peyton Manning, he's no Matt Moore. And the third thing you need to watch, the Giants' pass rush. Terrific in the second half against the Carolina Panthers. They were all over Moore. They had no trouble with the offensive line of the Panthers. The Colts' offensive line, usually much better, but Peyton Manning got knocked around big time in his game against the Texans last week. So the pass rush should have a chance to get to him. If they do, that'll help the secondary. And if the Giants can run the ball as well, things could work out very good for them on Sunday. People look at it like uh, that last week that, oh, it's it's just a given you're going to be able to run the ball. Nothing's given in the NFL, and we're going to have to work and scratch to get every every yard. And, and more importantly, uh, you know, we're uh, we're willing to, to put, pay the price and, and work and, and do whatever it takes to get that going because we know that that's uh, the strength of our offense. We want to know. We know this is a whole new week right here. We want to approach it the same way we did last week. We want to make sure we're on top of our game plans and uh, make sure that we're doing everything we need to do to prepare. Enjoy the game and make sure you tune into the blue screen on Sunday for all the details and all the happenings as the game goes along.